welcome back to another estrogen release video i am asia and i know it's been a while since i've posted to youtube i say it all the time and i'm going to say it again just in case i have some first timers here whenever i'm not in the right headspace i don't post over these past few weeks you guys already know with the pandemic but also with the recent murders um i have been totally out of it basically watching the murder of george floyd like a full eight minute eight plus minute video of his life literally being taken away by police it shook me i mean completely shook like i don't think i've ever um seen anything i haven't seen anything like that in, in a video before and, and actually ever literally ever Personally, it just didn't feel right to post a video during this time. I, I, I didn't even know what video would be appropriate to post during this time because when we see cases like this, when we see murders like this, it just reminds me of this country's harsh reality of racism. And it truly hurts. It's frustrating. I really don't know how to, to fully express how painful it is to know that this is still racism is still very alive in this country and then you add all the other people who have been killed by the police it's like a constant blow it's frustrating and what's even um more frustrating is that people particular particularly the ones who you know live privileged lifestyles who were born into privilege continuously make excuses for this brutality, these murders, the racism, and it's like, what part don't you get? It's, it's, it's so sickening at this point because we have so much information. I feel like for so long information, you had to like, you know, fish around for information because it wasn't on, I wouldn't say a silver platter, but it wasn't just given to you. But we have videos, we have people talking out about it. We, we have just so much information and people still, you know, choose to turn a blind eye. It's, it's like, how... Where's your compassion? Where is your empathy, you know? Again, that's the reason I haven't posted specifically on YouTube. And I typically, I haven't talked about, I've had, uh, I think I did one video about racism in the past, but I typically don't talk about um, these events. I don't really post too much about stuff on my social media. A back thought for me has always been, what is a post going to do? And that is partially true. It takes a lot more than just posting to social media and YouTube to truly fix the issue. Also, I don't want anything that I do to be performative, um, especially if I'm not doing the work behind the scenes because it's like you, now you're just putting it on the front and I, I, that's just totally opposite from who I am. Um, so that's been kind of like my brain block when it comes to speaking out about things like this. But at the end of the day, I'm black. I'm always going to be black. I can't turn my blackness off. And so when racism affects one, it affects us all because this is the system that we live in, you know? And my need to express myself as a black woman and my, or express my black experience is becoming more imperative. And an important step for me to take is to take action keep conversations going, educate myself, making sure that I'm being active publicly, uh, learning about all this legislation and the processes and basically all these laws that are keeping people oppressed in hopes to, you know, speak out against them and hopefully, you know, work towards making a change or finding the people to make that change. Um, and also voting, you know, um, very, small things that I can do on my end, but I just want to make sure that I take advantage of all the opportunities that I have in order to be present, you know? Honestly, I don't know how much that's going to do. I can only control what I do, and I know that I don't want to be absent. Black lives matter. They're always going to matter. We're not going anywhere, and that's just point blank, period. I'm really, really, really hoping to see justice for George Floyd, Brianna, Ahmad. Every, I mean, it's just, I'm, it, the cases are coming in. Even to this day, the cases just keep coming and coming. And the people who are doing these murders are just not having any type of repercussions or just getting fired. And it's just a hot mess. And um, 
Y'all, please sign the petitions. All the petitions that you can find, the more the better. Um, donate if you can. Um, I know that recently there's been like a increase of donations to all these different organizations, which is really, it makes me happy to see that. So please just keep doing that. I've said it in past videos, but my goal is to incorporate more black owned businesses into my life. I just feel like that's just a small piece of the puzzle to just keep this wheel turning. Not in regards to the um, legal system and police brutality, that's a whole nother part, but just making sure that we are pouring back into our communities. It's not just a trend, it's not just a moment. That is legit my goal. To the families who have lost loved ones due to police brutality or racism, I wholeheartedly wish that it never happened. It shouldn't have happened. I just wish this didn't exist. I wish that we didn't live in a world like this. I can't imagine anything that I can say that would you know, take away that pain. Um, this should have never happened. There's no excuse for it. And just know that we are all supporting you. We are all fighting for you. And we are truly hoping to see justice be served.